Hello guys, this is me again. This is Dark Anthrax. Uh, it's been a while, but I had some a lot of work to do regarding my daily job. I was sick a few days, so I didn't have any time to make some videos. But here I am back again, and this time it's with a special one. Um, it's a review gameplay of the game Guild of Dungeoneering Ultimate Edition. Uh, this edition has been sent to me uh, by a guy called... Um, what is his name again? Let me check that out. Craig Stephens. And he is a PR from the company Cartridge. So they sent me this game approximately a month ago. And I've been playing and testing this game. Um, as today, as 1 November, uh, we were able to stream and make videos of this game and publish them on YouTube or other streaming platforms. The game will be released uh, on 18th of November. So I'm going to do review gameplay of this game. So maybe it will be longer than the one hour gameplay that I do uh, usual. Uh, so guys, I would say sit back, relax and enjoy this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe, click the notification bell, leave a comment, suggest the game, spread, share, so that the channel can grow. Okay guys, um, I would say sit back, relax and enjoy. This is the Guild of Dungeoneering all across the land. They're cheering, oh, to be a Dungeoneer, chasing fame and glory. Okay, so normally there is a tutorial uh, for the first time, um, but I did it already, so I'm going to skip this one. Um, what is this game about? The one that's always left behind, the solitary lump, the pawn who's fodder for the grind, the sorry Spanish guild. Let jump. Me see. <laughs> okay, so what is this about? In fact, it's like a roguelike, uh, board game like game. Um, in fact, you're building your own dungeons, so it's not uh, generated randomly. At least a part is, but not uh, everything is so. The game, of course, has a big, big, big uh, replay value because every dungeon is going to be something else. So, in fact, the point of the game is go to explore, uh, complete missions, collect loot, uh, collect gold, buy... Uh, expansions so you can uh, upgrade your guild and we will see and how we go to battle i will tell you guys how to do it uh, but first of all let me say about the graphics it's like your typical tabletop uh, board game it's with tiles and cards of course as you can see the graphics it's a style apart it's like a uh, pencil drawn on paper I must say I like that and I like the cuteness also of the game, the graphics of the game. So let's see and let's just go to the first dungeon, go exploring. As you can see, uh, the further you play, uh, the more clouds will be uh, will be go away, so you will be revealed with new missions you can do. And as you can see, there are two squares so in fact there are two missions to complete and then you have done the adventure so let us go and try the first adventure normally in this case you would be able to choose other adventures um, you would gain them when you are building and upgrading your guilds but for the time being you get only one and it's the chump Squeak, squeak, everyone's got to start somewhere. Enter dungeon. There we go. Not, no tutorial. Okay, so, how do we play this? Um, so that's your starting point. And as you can see, guys, you get some random cards. Um, 
you can place a room and as you can see the game will indicate where you can put this room so here I got only one option there we go so automatically the guy will go here because there's some coins and there's an enemy he can destroy if you want to stop on this tile or you will have to put uh, money on it or you will have to play a uh, red card uh, enemy card so when I put this one here my uh, player will stop here to fight the bad guy but I have uh, the chance to collect a rune or a favor um, so you can play up uh, up to three cards but for the moment I can't really play another one oh. Oh. so there we go and turn okay so what is this all that stuff okay that's your hand cards here you can choose what you will do so for here the guy is going to attack with his fist but this means that uh, that the attack I can't block it it's unblockable so if you want to know what the icons mean you can hover over a card and it will tell you what is what so one physical damage is a fist with a star and that is like unblockable so now I have to do something so I can't block so it's not a fuse that I will uh, block because I can't block it so I will fight him so as you see I lost one heart and he also lost one heart so now he's attacking again with his fist but I can block it if I use this card I can block any that means red is uh, melee weapons fist and blue is magic so with this card I can block or magic or uh, melee and of course the first one who is going to uh, eliminate all the hearts of the other one he will win so again here I can't do anything and of course the more enemies you destroy the more loot you get the st stronger you will be okay so he's going to punch me but when the punch hits I must remove a card from my deck uh, that's a nasty thing because you don't have much uh, cards in your deck at first so or I can block it or I can do a double punch but losing a card so I'm going to take this one so I lost the cards double punch I can only block oh crap okay so this is unblockable I will lose a heart but then it will be my turn to attack and he will be gone there you go I won the first battle now I can uh, select some loot what is this okay if I take this one I will receive an extra heart uh, here I get three extra cards um, the first one is a card that does nothing, it's stupidity. The second one is I can block and attack. And the third one is triple block. And this one is I get one heart plus uh, a crappy card. Or you can skip if you don't want to take a card. But that be that is stupid because it gives some extras to your deck or your character. So I'm going to take the straight jacket. I uh, got one extra heart. There we go. Now I got. Uh, oh no, sorry. Those runes that you see, uh, those are favor points. Of course, you can't see it because my ugly face is on top of the favor count, but I will explain it in the next battle. Uh, let me expand the dungeon. There we go. Um, always see 
the zombie guy is level 2 you are level 2 and I will put a one rat in this one and turn oh. Oh, this guy is... Uh... So now the guy is going to attack with magic. Blue means magic. One magical damage. And I'm going to block this one. Oh. One damage with magic. One block with magic. I will attack with two. Okay, this one, if it hits me with magic, I will lose an extra heart. Oh no, no, he will replenish one extra heart if the magic hits me. And it will, so I will punch him. You see the guy had refilling of his heart. I'm going to defend this one. Come on. Okay, that's a stupid uh, thing, I think, for me personally. When he hits me, he will lose also a life. So he loses a life, and he loses a life because I punch him. So, the guy has also a trait. So, the trait is DK. Uh, that means. If he takes two damage in one turn, he will get one extra damage. So I'm going to defense against the blue one. There we go. Okay, so normally the guy is dead. There we go. Done. What is this? can have a card with two magical damage or one with damage and one with dam a magical damage and a card but I will uh, remove one health three defense okay I'll take this one I got money I got uh, one other favor if you can play loot like this, candlesticks, uh, those are treasures, or you can play gold, then do it, because you will earn it afterwards. Okay, and turn. Ah. So, I got two uh, favor, as you can see here at the bottom, favor two. So I can use or an extra block or draw an extra card. Block is useful because it's not useful because it's an unblockable uh, move he will do. Um, so I will also attack. I discard it, no problem, I will kill him. I will kill him with two magic, he can't block that. There we go, he's dead. So, what is this? Holy. Uh, no. Uh, armor, okay. Oh, that's a good one. No, I will take this one. It's also nice to see, guys, that you, when you uh, obtain something like loot, uh, armor or weapons, you will see it added to your character. That's a nice thing, I really like that, uh, because it's stupid when you got some new weapons or other stuff like armor or whatever, and it doesn't appear on the character, it's a bit dull, so 
that's a ah. good thing they did. It's unblockable. Okay, two damage, magic damage then. Okay, he will hit me twice and he will lose life. Uh, when you see this thunder, that means quick. And what means is quick? It means that your attack will go first before the enemy. Okay, nice. He's dead. There we go. Um, oh. Physical damage. Uh, no. As you can see, I added a sword. Well, now, this is just really quite surprising. Thanks to you, I've lost a wager. Against all so odds, you're surviving. I received. Uh, Next time, I hope you find more. Some coins I can spend danger. now. But first of all, let me check some. Uh -huh. uh, first, if you go exploring, it's to do another mission. Guildopedia, that's. Uh, the cards to see the cards that you obtained and also to see the monsters that you've fighted. Um, Dungeoneers is all the characters that you have. For the moment I only have one. An expand guild is now you can expand your guild with some extra stuff. Okay. You can unlock Dungeoneers, what is that? It will give you an extra character to choose from and every other character has another set of playing cards. It has also other abilities. Uh, blessings, those are uh, blessings that, uh, um, that you can uh, use and equip on your character to have some benefits in uh, like uh, more health or other things. And this is new loot that will be unlocked and will be added to the pile of few loot that you can uh, gain uh, into the dungeons. So I will start to create another character, the Bugler, the Bruiser, the Mime or the Apprentice, the Cat Burglar. There we go. So now I have to play and build the... The dead for the other now, characters. So. Had some fun. And you could say you've come very far. But brace yourself for some woeful Now I have only 15 gold left, so go exploring again. A cat uh, so, yeah. we'll take this mission again to complete the second mission. Quest to Red Pack. Defeat the Red King. Now I can choose. That's my new character, the Cat Burglar. Or I can continue with the chump. I will show you guys with another character what it is. So, and here when I bought a blessing, it will appear in this case. So, oh crap, there we go, the cat burglar and the dungeon. Okay, so I have to kill that big guy. Uh, you don't have to kill all the others, but the more characters you destroy, the stronger you will get and the better loot you will have to defeat the boss. That's a fact. So first, let me build this room card. Here we go. Uh, there. Or well, I can first put one here to battle this one. There we go. Okay, guys, so... Uh, uh, it, it seems easy at start, but don't forget the game gets brutal very fast. So keep in mind. So you see the cards are different from the cards that I had with the chump. Um, he will give me one damage, I will give two. What is this? This card will give me... So, this guy will hurt me with one heart. I can't block it, so with this card I will heal one heart. And the next time that I play a fist, it will add another fist. 
So lost the heart, gained my heart and I got an extra fist here. So if I play this one, I will fight him. He will give me one damage and I will give him three damage. Okay, he will be dead now. Okay, the loot. Got two cards. What is this? A quick fist card and a draw card. One health, but with a stupidity card that's bad. The block, I will take this one. I'll put some coins there. Uh, no, can't use that anyhow. And turn. Give me one punch. I will give two. Um, two fire blasts and he's done. There we go. In general, when you have a stupidity card like on top on the right, you scratch your head. Uh, that's a card I won't take very fast because it's a card that comes into your deck I mean you have that card it's nothing so no rape here we take this one so now I have to choose where to go so it's automatically going that way I will add an extra character to fight, I mean an extra enemy to fight, so... <clears throat> and every character has its own way of playing, so I will do 3 damage. Two damage. Anyhow, is that what is this? Oh, that's a nice one. this uh, draw an extra card okay that's nice okay Blockable, that's no problem at all. He's dead. Okay, the game seems easy to play, um, but I must say, Swift Arcane. Uh, no club. I will take this one. Okay, build the dungeon. There we go. I'm level three. The guy's level what? Feral leader. Okay, I will end the turn and try to fight the guy. Uh -oh. Uh. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. So that's a boss battle now. He will damage himself, but I got two damage, so I will block one. What's leader? Unblockable, no problem. He's got three damage, there we go. So of course the battle depends all on what cards you are getting if you got bad card after bad card yeah of course um, there we go and that's a trophy i collected in the red tail i suppose you've done fine for a little green rookie but it's only a matter of time till you get your comeuppance let's just say you've been lucky but it's only a matter of time. So I can place the trophy room now and you can see the way you build your guild is always going to change. It's always always going to be something else and that's the nice thing about it. So I'll click on the exclamation mark. That's history. And this is the Red King's Tale one trophy of uh, destroying the boss so we'll expand again uh, tricks to favor warrior spirit hug in a battle crones now i will learn like warrior's spirit okay let us go exploring and you can see this adventure is successful. What's this? There's more, a whole world to explore. Why, there's gold to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point? You're all hit and miss. It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. Mm. But now it's getting harder. Scope out Embryos, Embryos defenses to first physical damage in battle for the first two fights. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me go that way. There we go. So it's really a typical uh, roguelike game, dungeon crawling game. You fight, you obtain treasures, loot, blessings. Because the traits that I have now. So at the end of the battle I got an extra slot of loot to choose from. An extra slot to choose from. And I got a plus one. So if I do play this one, I got three uh, damage uh, instead of two. And that's because of the warrior spirit uh, that I have took, that I bought. Got two damage, he's got three. There we go. So that's the stupidity card that I told you guys. You can do nothing with that. So I'll give him three damage. He's done. And of course now it all depends on what card you what card uh, or loot you are taking that's a level two i will take this one mm -hmm. got some coins uh, let's go that way oh wow crap that's that's lame. Too stupidity. Okay. Anyhow. <clears throat> I will drink 
four damage now. So be aware guys that uh, when you are losing battles it's not because you are playing a bad way. It really all depends on the cards you will get, that's a fact. Though, because otherwise I've got two stupidity cards that I can't do nothing with. Of course I will receive two extra hearts, so it depends what is your play style and how you will deal with all that. Um, we'll take this one. Give us some coins. Uh, okay, and turn. Of course, guys, if you don't like games like that, I can understand, don't play it, but it's really a nice game, I mean it. That means, oh, nice. So now I get some loot. That's a good one. That's also a good one. Hmm, we'll take this one. Now this. Got the coins. Now I got. Now showing off is quite a bore. Oh, it's and done. Certainly not becoming. But what we have here next in store will surely have you running. Okay, I can expand again and I will now buy some extra loot. So those are the loot that I will be able to choose from. Builds, there we go. So in fact, this is the gameplay of this game. Uh, I must say it's pretty straightforward. You have to complete all the adventures and upgrading your guilds, that's a fact. Upgrading your characters, battle. Oh. Uh, so now about, uh, what about the graphics? Uh, as you can see the graphics are simple, but simple is not bad. I mean, I like the fact that it's like, uh, wait a moment, defeat Ambrose River Ducky. Oh. That's a nasty level. Uh, okay, that's a treasure chest, and I need to destroy this guy, it's level 3. Uh, the ghosts and the pirates are a pain in the ass. So far, I know that. There's a coin. Battle a guy to be able to upgrade. So as you can see, of course, the graphics are minimum. But for me it works very well because I like the, the art of the graphics. I like the fact that the the characters are has some cute factor into it. But I like the thing that I like the most it's like that paper art, uh, drawn paper art. Uh, that's the thing I like a lot. Also, uh, like how you play the dungeon style tiles. It's like a board game, so that's also a good thing. Um, quick attack. Losing a card. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Uh, I will heal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. There we go. That beat. Okay, regarding animation, there's nothing. A lot to it. Is that a bad thing? No, because the game is designed like that. Um, oh, I will take this one. Um, graph, uh, the animation is like I said, bare minimum. Um, 
the music man I like the music a lot it goes so well with the game it has this hidden atmosphere a bit a hidden uh, weird music it, it gives you some anxiety um, goes well with the battles also so for me the the, the music is really uh, top notch so I lose okay I get a heart whoa whoa whoa, whoa. three damage okay four damage okay there we go not so bad now what defense of course I will heal there we go he will kill himself uh, unblockable dead meat nice that's a good one take a fishing pole level 3 nice The ghost is a nasty one, if I recall exactly, yes, I knew it, no problem. Uh, what's this? Okay, per damage, okay. So, um, not very good. At least I can take a card. Okay, come on. Oh wow! Uh, heal one. Oh come on, really? Your toast mate. There you go. Dead meat. Wow. 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 Oh my. But I like this the best. Can choose another one with loot, nice. I will take this one. Hell yeah! Uh, let me give this treasure to me, there we go. I will battle this guy also. So in fact the more you battle, the more you will get some loot, that's a fact. So, um, what is this? I will defend myself. one is four because the guy has DK and if he takes two damage he will get an extra damage BAM quick dead meat there we go Ok, 
Okay. Defense is also a nice thing. Got some coins. I'm not doing it very well there. Come on. No, dude, you won't. Kill yourself, that's good. It's very simple to remember. Shield is defense, star is attack. He will kill himself. I will give two, two and one of DK, yes, there we go, quick punch, that, oh no, we got shield, crap, didn't pay attention, uh, oh come on dude, give me a break, he's dead. Okay. Now we'll take this vest. There we go. Uh, maybe I will battle another zombie. Oh, I got four favor. So I can use sabotage down here. You see, only got five favor. So, oh, this card, monster's current card. That's nice. And that's what I. Oh crap. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, yes. DK, there we go. Uh, draw another card, there we go. He's dead meat. <laughs> This guy is an annoying one. Okay. Collective. Wow, 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 wow. Let us defense at least one. There we go. Oh, come on. What's this? Cycle one. Oh no, Sabotage. Uh, oh, for God's sake. It's even worse. Oh boy. He's dead meat. There we go. Yes. Don't have a lot of money now, okay. 
So we will continue to play this one, uh, go exploring. Um, there we go. Bath bomb, defeat Embro. Whoa! We'll take this one. There we go, BAM! In your face, dude. You see, the more you fight, the more traits you got. So that's very important in the game to win battles. Let me heal one. And an extra damage now. There we go. There we go, that means. It's not always quite easy to see what you want. I want that treasure chest. So if this guy, no wait, incoming, okay, so this will do 2 damage, there we go. Bam, that means. Oh. Wow, plus two, that's nice. Or this, or that. This one. Yeah, 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 piss off. I'm level two now. Go. Extra court is always nice. Defend. Wow. The battle should be over, there we go. Okay. some nice loot oh yeah holy cow popsicle we got four cards uh, this one is the nicest 
Yeah, yeah, bro. Some coins. Oh. Crap. Wow. Mm. Oh boy, oh boy. Defense, heal one. We'll mix up. Attack. There we go. Oh man, come on! Favor. Okay, fight the little guy first. There we go. Slice me, uh, killing yourself. Also cards phase up. Nice, nice, nice. You see I got that extra fountain of clairvoyance. Uh, the f the when I was on the tile with the less eating plant. So now his cards are unveiled. It makes this battle way easier, of course. Okay, this is going to be bad. Off the pockets. Oh, come on. 
I'm done. I'm toast. Oh crap. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on. A sorry tale, a gory story. Another hero dies for glory. In the ground they rest the head. Dead. 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 Not just here to hide the bodies. They can accomplish something much bigger. Just give them a shovel. They'll dig up the root. Oh man, so now Sit I unlock the graveyard and there you can see the grave uh, the cat blogger who was dead. You can see the character how many runs uh, he did or she did. The monsters killed and the trophies earned. But now I got the the, the grave digger as a character. Okay. That's a nasty one. Let us try this one. Get inside the treasure room. <sighs> There's a treasure room. There it is. Okay. He's dead, just in time. Wow. Um. Ah, uh, yellow is good, red is bad. Maybe can I kill him? Mm. We will see. No. No, mate. Brittle. Ah, oh, come on. For God's sake. Lucky me, <laughs> discard the cards. Nice. Uh oh. Oh man, I'm lucky. This fight was lucky, guys. Really, I mean it. No. Oh, no. Yes. There we go. Coin. Yes. Get some coins. 
coins. As you can see guys the gameplay is really easy, there's not really, really much to it, so if you like card games, if you like uh, roguelike games, dungeon crawler games, wow, did, wow, damn, okay, in your face dude. Favor coin, nice. Uh, that's good, nice. Uh -huh. Your dead meat man, toast. There we go. Bam. Whoa, we. No, no, this way, come on. There we go. Um, tree, tree. Okay, and turn. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, nice one. Smash. That's a good card. Nah. Stupid. No. Ah, that was so stupid mm -hmm. um unblockable dork no what about oh seriously I misclicked. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm lucky. Oh. Entertaining display Quest completed. of courage and brutality, but in the long term, will it outweigh a dungeon here's So because mortality. you have uh, built an expansion of the guild, a hidden den, after, after some time your killed characters will return. The engineers so you can uh, choose what character you want to play with what will I do expand loot or I will take nine uncommon items there we go built Go exploring. Collect two large chests. Okay, but that's a nasty one. We need to get. There we go. 
So the, the red uh, eating fl no the red monster thingy there that's bad. Oh nice. It seems that I'm very lucky with this game because the the, the game that I uh, played before I was not so lucky as now really. There we go. Oh. Okay, not too shabby. You were dead meat, fire in. The loot is very important because you gain some new cards. Uh, it depends on how you want to play, so you have to be careful what you get. Or what? Oh, crap. Oh no, not crap. Please. Uh, yes, that's nice. Let me put some coins there. Uh -huh. Nice. Fountain of Heroism. Okay. So I must say it's not because they've sent me this game that I'm going to give this a good score, but I must say, uh, I will be honest and I must say this game is really nice, it's dope, I like the game a lot, so... Oh fuck off! That meat. Kimita, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's what. Oh, come on! Give me a break, dude! Slain, dude. Seriously. Mm. Oh, I got a negative threat. Really? Decay. Fuck that, man. There we go, dude. You dead meat, man. Bam. No way. Keep your crap. Ok, 
tomorrow. The bear owl, no? No, you won't. Fury, what's this? Oh. Bleed, yes. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hmm. No, mate. No way. Oh, crap. Yes, got him. Dude, come on! What the? Oh yeah, great! Hey. Oh, finally! So no, it's possible that you want to play and battle more monsters to level up. It all depends on how you play, what cards you will have, so... Oh, nice, there we go, bam bam. No, mate. Yes. Well now, this is just really quite surprising. Thanks to you I've lost a wager. Against Victory. all odds oh, you're surviving. Nice. Next time I, I hope you say find I like the grave digger the best. Danger. Uh, as a character. Take out the monsters. Okay, please. A good, a good one. Yellow. Oh come on, fuck off. Check ass. Okay, unblockable, I don't care, dude. You've also heard that the sound effects are really simple. Also, but okay, for a game like that, it's really, really, really nice. Goes well. I don't want to get in debt on that uh, pile because otherwise it will have a negative effect and that you have to avoid at all costs, uh, if possible of course. The 
So I must say guys, for me personally, I like the graphics. Uh, those are nice, smooth, it's like, it's all made of paper. Uh, that's a thing I like. The music is awesome. It goes very well with the game. Playability is top notch, nothing to it, but really nothing. Um, animation wise, okay, that's not the main feature that... Uh, okay. Main feature of this game, but... Crap. So, and also the gameplay, okay, that's what I told. Uh, the gameplay is really nice, really easy. The game is really easy to understand. It's nice to play, but it's hard to master. Don't get... Uh, don't let the game fool you. Because of its cuteness, um, because it's easy to play the game, but it will be really hard to master the game completely. So guys, beware. Um, don't think like, oh wow, nice game, easy game. No, no. The farther it gets, the the harder it gets. Uh, your dead meat, bro. And I must say, with all this, also the replayability value of this game is really high. Oh, come on! Can't say give me a good card. Because you can build over and over and over and over other dungeons if you're playing games, so... We play value of the, this game is really high, and I mean really high. So if you guys uh, liked deck building card games, uh, dungeon crawlers, um, roguelike, roguelike games, this game is for you guys. I must say I love it. For me, it's a complete bag that works very well. So, I well, I'm fast running out of words. Okay, so I give this game a nine out of ten. Somehow uh, you bested those. That's a game I can play. Oh well, uh, for long, long, long periods. So, to meet. going to expand. Uh, uncommon. Oh. Yes, yeah, 750 coins. Okay. No, loot. I need loot, loot, loot. There we go. Go exploring. It's like with all all the games, and it's really from my heart that I'm telling this. I like this game a lot. I need steal the treasure to gear for a big fight. Okay, so uh, I say this from the heart. Uh, I'm not paid to do this. I'm not paid to give a good score. Really, it's a score that I will give uh, because if you follow my channel, you will see that um, the other games that are uh, look-alike of this game also gets a good score because I like those games. So, oh my. No way, mate. Uh -uh. Dead meat, bro. Bam. Because that's always what comes to the mind of people is 
Oh, you're giving it a good score because you got the review game, uh, you got it for free. No, it's not the way that I work. Uh, if you follow my dungeon, you would, you will know that, you would know that, that it's not the case. Wow, this is annoying. This is nasty. Wait a minute, going to try something. Hope it's a good one, come on. Oh, fuck off. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I will battle this guy here first, then I will go back to gain this favor. Uh, so, the more favors and trades you got, the easier the fight will be afterwards. That's a fact. So that's what you have to do, you need to beef yourself up to be able to get the fight and win against the boss because otherwise it will not be an easy, easy battle and you will lose. Mate, get over here! Oh, come on! Push back! Oh. No! No, dude, you won't. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. DK, that's not bad. How is that? So there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me some loot, I want loot. Yeah, right. Wow, Firestorm, that's epic. Oh, this one. Oh, look, it's your dungeoneer who survived. Just look not at bad, the joy, I'm bad. so teary eyed. Do you think that they'll all come back alive? Well, I suppose if they don't. Uh, then at least they all tried. Defeat the big orc. Okay, I'm going to get my ass kicked, I'm sure of it. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So give me the coin and give me battles. Wow! 
Hark off! Oh, I got it! What? Is off, mate. Um, oh, for God's sake! Give me the loot. Oh, I think Jeremy is going to. Oh, come on! Oh, for God's sake! Oh, this bird is annoying. Take one damage each turn. Really? Anyhow, he's dead. So, but where did this straight burn came from? I have no clue. Joking. Okay, I'm going to have to make it straight again. Oh, come on. For God's sake. Dead meat. There we go, bam, in your face. Dead meat, there we go. Oh boy, boy. Okay, so I would take this one then. Oh, 
Oh, come on, really? Oh, oh fuck off. Stupidity, really? Oh, come on. Defense. Two. Anyhow, he's dead. There we go. Bam. That burn trait is good for me, but it's also not good for me. So. What's this? That was an easy fight, so not too shabby. What is this? Whoa, boomerang. Okay, this will be it. Finally. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is going to be pain in the poop. Wow. That's I won. Uh. Okay, I must. Yes, my second trophy. Nice. Okay, I must say it's not too well, bad. This is really just quite surprising. Aren't dungeoners just cannon fodder? But against all odds, they keep surviving. They're so dumb. Nice, nice, nice. Why even bother? So, was this click to open? Orc, the goblin teeth. Nice, my second. Okay, expand guilds. We should add loot. Oh. Successful. Oh, let me try that one. It's so hot, I could scream. You could scream. We all could scream. For ice cream. I hear. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, give me a good one. Ah, oh, fuck off. Jesus. Oh, boy. The nice thing is if you can always survive with your character, your character will increase, increase in level. That's the nice thing, but once he's dead... Dead. No. Okay, let us take this one down. There we go. Uh, Fuck. 
Come on. Jesus. Come on, good one. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. You are toast, buddy. Uh, give me the body. Oh, mimic. Yeah, yeah, you are dead meat, bam. Okay, dude, give me a break now. Not good. Oh, fuck this man. This is bad, I think. Okay, again, was lucky. Do you have any decency, I wonder? Like the Ivory nice, League of nice, Explorers. Nice. Instead, you pillage and plunder and rip Expand everything guild. asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of oh, I bought marauders. It all. Okay, the Bruce or them bills. Not a gentle kind of dungeoneer, nor a poet, or a muser, but one that fills the heart with fear. Okay, so guys, I what can I tell about this game? So, the Bruiser. Um, as you've seen it, I like the game a lot. So for me, the graphics are really dope. It's nice. Um, I like the art style, the, the drawing art style. It's like on paper, that's what I like. I like the, the simplicity of it, but everything is clear. I like also the fact that you can build your own guild and unlock some other stuff like uh, blessings and loot. Uh, Dungeoneers, that's to obtain new characters. Blessings, that's for positive uh, traits, for example. Loot, new weapons, armor, etc. Uh, that's a nice thing. So... 
also if you go to explore on adventures um, the way the, the castle or the dungeon is built it's uh, how do I say most of um, like when you have to do a mission like I don't know go to a treasure chest or go to or, or defeat a boss uh, those are always the same regarding the mission but the way you are going to get there is always random because you are picking the cards random and you have to place the tile yourself the good the good way if possible or the most uh, or the, the the way that's uh, not as dangerous as the other way you can go so it all depends on what cards you have don't forget to get the loot so you can uh, upgrade your guilds um, don't forget also to obtain the favors if you have the possibility and upgrade your uh, loot and your character is very important uh, so because when you have positive traits you will see that the game is way easier uh, the battles are way easier um, the longer your character stays alive the better you loot you will have and the better stats he will have so it will be easier to continue with the game because <clears throat> if you lose one battle it's dead meat you have to use another character so um, that uh, deck uh, building situation with the cards and that uh, building of the dungeon and uh, the guild it makes it so that there are a lot of possibilities it's not randomly generated so you have to build it yourself and with this is when you're building it yourself every dungeon looks different and that's a nice thing it's, it's it has a great replayability it has some high value into that and that's what i like so it's really not always the same that you're playing over and over again because in general i don't like those uh, generated dungeons etc i prefer to build them myself with some random decks that you have or random random tiles that you get so that's my opinion of course um, and I will also say uh, the music is really top notch. I like it. I like it. I like it really well. I like it a lot. So it goes very well with the game when you're in a dungeon or on the adventure map. So that's golden. Um, of course, regarding animation and sound, sound effects, that's a bit. Uh, how do I say? Okay, animation, animation wise. Uh, it shouldn't be in this game, so, so it works very well how it is. And it's the same with the sound effects. They are simple, but it does the job, it does the job what it has to do. So for me that's also uh, an okay thing. And all by all, all that, I think the game is really well balanced. Of course, there's always luck involved like all the games uh, with card games depends on what cards you get what loot what trades what favors it all depends and that will uh, and that's a thing that will make the game harder or easier it depends on the luck you have so all by all by all, by all guys if you like deck building games uh, dungeon crawlers, uh, roguelike games, and this is a game to play. And there's a bit of a board game feel to it that I also like. So for me, guys, this game gets a nine out of ten. If you don't like all those jars, don't bother because you won't like it. So, guys, that was it. Once again, uh, thanks for the what's the name of the guy again? Thanks to let me see real quick. Uh, thanks to Craig Stephens for sending me this of course I will be a uh, credit roll out so you can see all the credits uh, for everybody who was involved in this video so guys that was it a big 9 out of 10 for me uh, be patient and you will be able to play this game on the 18th of November that's the official release date 
That was it guys, if you like my videos please subscribe, click notification bell, leave a comment, suggest the game, spread, share, share on social media so that we can make the channel grow. But don't forget guys, always stay safe, take care and peace out.